Hello everyone, in this video we have an Olympiad question. Some length and some angles are given, and length of the DC is asked. Okay, first step, let's extend this corner, and we know that this angle must be 60 degrees, and let's draw a perpendicular line across to 60 degrees, if you notice that these two lines are parallel. Okay. Let's call here A and let's call here P point. If you notice that we get two similar triangle. Okay. Which one is that? A D C triangle and P, B, C triangle are similar. Okay. So, 1 over A plus 1 equals X over X plus 1. So, A, X plus x equals x plus 1, these are gone, therefore a is going to be 1 over x, okay, here is 1 over x, if there is a 1 over x across to 30 degrees, a across to 60 degrees must be equal root 3 over x, Okay, now we can apply Pythagorean theorem in the biggest triangle. So root 3 over x squared plus 1 over x plus 1 squared equals x plus 1 whole squared. Okay. 3 over x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 2 over x plus 1 equals x squared plus 2x plus 1. These are gone. Let's multiply with x, both of the numerator and denominator. So 3 plus 1 plus 2x over x squared equals x squared plus 2x. Four plus two x equals x to the power of four plus two x cubed. So x to the power of four plus two x cubed minus two x minus four equals zero x cubed in parentheses x plus 2 minus 2 times x plus 2 equals 0. These are common, so x plus 2 times in parentheses x cubed minus 2 equals 0. So x is equals minus 2 and x cubed equals 2, but length can't be negative, so x is going to be cubed root 2. Now we will calculate value of x using sine and cosine rule for second method. Okay, let's call this length a unit. So, if here is alpha, this length must be 180 minus alpha. Let's apply sine rule in the triangle. A, B, D triangle. Let's apply sine rule. A over 
sine alpha equals 1 over sine 30 degrees, right? Okay. A over sine alpha equals 1 over sine 30 is 1 over 2. So A over sine alpha equals 2. That means sine alpha equals A over 2. Okay, now let's apply sine theorem in triangle ADC. One over sine one hundred eighty minus alpha equals x over sine ninety, right? Okay. We know that sine one hundred eighty minus alpha equals sine alpha, and sine ninety is equals one. We can write a over 2 instead of sine alpha. So x is equals 2 over a. Therefore, a is going to be 2 over x. Okay. If you focus on the biggest triangle, we can apply cosine rules, right? According to cosine rules, x plus 1 whole squared equals 2 over x squared plus 1 squared minus 2 times 2 over x times 1 times cosine 120. Okay x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 4 over x squared plus 1 minus 2 times 2 over x times cosine 120 is minus 1 over 2. So So x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 4 over x squared plus 1 plus, let's simplify the expression, plus 2 over x, and these are gone. Let's multiply with x both of the numerator and denominator. So x squared plus, in parentheses, x squared plus 2x equals 4 plus 2x. Therefore, x squared times, in parentheses, x squared plus 2x minus 4 minus 2x equals 0. So x to the power of 4 plus 2x cubed minus 4 minus 2x equals 0. x cubed in parentheses x plus 2 minus 
2 times in parentheses x plus 2 equals 0. These are common, so x plus 2 times x cubed minus 2 equals 0. Therefore, x is equals minus 2 and x cubed equals 2. So, x is going to be cube root 2. Thanks.